What is up, guys? I want to welcome you to our second episode of this series. We are now going to be moving in Bernard, our brand new guy, David Bernard. He's going to be our politician. Welcome everyone back. If you guys haven't already done it, I hope you are looking forward to this series as much as I am. I'm super excited and we're just going to hop right on in. I was looking at apartments in the area. First off, the apartments are so well designed. They're all so lively. It feels like there's actually someone living in there. I feel like some of the houses didn't have that same love that the apartments do have in this game. And after working it out, I ended up picking this apartment here. It's on the fashion district. I was going between each and every district to try and figure out what I feel David would be best at, okay? So I'll just show you all the districts real fast before we go in. But we have the Spicy District, which is a family neighborhood, famous for its Spicy Festival, Flea Market, and Dockland views. We then have the Arts Quarter, home to the Humor and Hijinks Festival, the Bohemian Arts Quarter is beloved by musicians, artists, and all manner of creative types. Uh, we then have Uptown, the luxurious heart of the city. Uptown is home to the rich, powerful, and slightly odd. That's where I would like to end up. I'd like to end up in Uptown, but as of now, we don't have the money. We're, we're not that rich. We're just barely scratching our pennies together, you know, to buy this apartment. So, can't move to Uptown, but this is the dream location, especially for a future politician or a future fundraiser you want to live in the uptown and then we end up picking fashion district it's popular with young and tre uh, trendy sims the fashion district is almost home to the rome is also almost home. what am i doing today also home to the romance festival and geek con i figured the uh the trendiness and young vibe would work really well with david he seems like a very trendy young man if you ask me He's very outgoing, goofy. I just feel like it fits him. And that's where we're going to start with our political career. And after looking at both apartments, so this one's like too expensive, I believe. You couldn't afford it. So we couldn't do that one. So we end up going to this three apartments area. And we could pick through any of them. I kind of want to get Needs TLC. But, eh, you know, like... I don't really want to deal with the TLC stuff. And I thought the two bedrooms was like an unnecessary thing for David right now. So we ended up just figuring, I ended up just coming to the conclusion that we'd go with the, this house here, uh, 1312 21 Chick Street. It's a very nice apartment. I had to sell a few of the paintings and stuff, which I'm actually a little upset about so we can move in, but that's okay. You know, we have to work around it. And then there's also this one, but also has two bedrooms. I thought that was unnecessary. Didn't want the two bedrooms. I'll just have one tight-knit apartment, you know? We'll talk about the lively trait and other traits when we move into the apartment. We're going to buy it furnished. Weekly rent's only 400 We should probably be able to afford that. We'll talk about the traits and stuff as we go in for the city living expansion. It's actually, I think it was a free expansion for all Sims, but I'll talk about it here considering it's my first playthrough from it. So anyways, let's introduce the apartment living with the beautiful Sims. Don't forget to pay rent on time. I guess she's our landlord. Anyways, so with this, you have these mailboxes out here. The mailboxes are pretty bomb. Uh, your mail just goes in there, nothing too special. You have a track compact, trash compactor, which is awesome. You bring your trash out, throw it in there instead of throwing it to a uh, outdoor trash can. Here you can leave little notes and stuff and read about the festival or read about it. And you can leave notes on this if you do have neighbors. Right now it's the Geek Con, which is Tuesday. I think we might attend that. We'll have to see what we feel like doing, but maybe we'll go. But that is a board you can leave notes to your neighbors if they're being loud or partying and stuff. And this is just like the common area. Here is our apartment. You just walk on in here, David, and let's show this place off. It is a beautifully decorated apartment, let's be honest. Uh, the bedroom's in like the living room, so it's very like one room apartments. Not a lot going on. We have some, some posters here. There were posters here, how to get rid of them. We have a little living area, a little game system there. Nice TV, you know, good for the average young man. 
We then have some drawers, a suitcase, probably moving around a lot, not a lot of room to unpack all this stuff. In the kitchen, we have only one table, a chair, very simple table and chair. Uh, this fridge is actually used. It came with a new patch, new expansion. They added used stuff. So I think it was only like 200 and um, so I think it was only like 200 and like 70 something Simlins. And then we also have the oven, which is also used, both very cheap. I think they're the cheapest now in the, in the potential of like items, they're the cheapest. So we ended up getting those two just so we could afford the place. Got some cabinets and stuff and all that, whatever. Nice overview. And let's talk about the, let's talk about the traits real fast for the house. So lively means that the neighbors live life to the max. There's often a party going on. Parties will wake you up in the middle of the night. They're a horrible hassle, horrible, horrible hassle. Um, they keep you up. They usually don't stop till like 2 a.m. So they'll wake me up. Hopefully we can join in the party and have some fun. There's a bunch of other traits. I'm not gonna talk about them all, but I'll talk about a few of them. Like good schools, your kids will get better better grades at school. Home studio makes painting, writing, and woodworking usually come out better quality. This one you randomly find money around the house. Penny pixies. Uh, haunted, there's ghosts, which is kind of cool. Uh, child's play. Kids seem to learn skills faster. You got your great acoustics, which is for musicians. This is for exercising. This is for painting. Fast internet's kind of cool. It's for programming, video games, or the writing skill. As you see, there's a lot of ways to customize the house. So it shows that like, it's a house. It's not just, it's an apartment. It's not just a, uh, not just a room with walls. There's a lot to it. That's what I really like about it. That's probably like my favorite part about the new patch and stuff is that I feel like the apartments have a life of their own as long as well as your sim. They both kind of are living to its fullest. Anyways, let's go make some grilled cheese right quick and start getting our life going. We also, I should probably get the job. Uh, find job and we're going to get the political job. It will be our first job. Little David's growing up. Career? Wait. A career, yeah. Uh, culinary. So the three new jobs were critic, where you gotta be like an art critic or food critic, gotta give your opinions and stuff. You have politician, which is the politician or charity organizer. And lastly, you also have sh social media, which I actually am really excited to check out. I haven't messed around with it too much yet. Uh, I'm kind of dabbling with it in my stream, but we're gonna mess around with that. Hopefully in another playthrough, we'll do the social media. Cause I think that's so cool. Social media as a job sounds extremely attractive and interesting, you know? But anyways, we're gonna stick to politician for now. Join a life of public service from protesting against the unjust to gathering donations for good causes or even collecting the occasional bribe as a means to an end. Pol uh, politics is always interesting. And then you gotta go between politician and charity organizer. Leave a comment down below if you know which one you want me to go or if you have an opinion. But let's grab this now. What? Wait a second. Work <laughs> sandwich. All right. I hate my life. Oh my god. I just. I was cooking grilled cheese. Oh my. I was cooking freaking grilled cheese. How do you burn the house down on grilled cheese? I'm a horrible cook. I could not. I could not burn the house down on grilled cheese if I tried. If I tried to burn the house down on grilled cheese, I could not even. Might as well get a better oven. I didn't think I'd have extra money laying around, so I got like the worst oven, but whatever. Wow. Real we just started, like. <laughs> I, I honestly feel like this is like a joke. Like I feel like they're playing a practical joke on me, Sims, right now. They're like, <laughs> let's burn this house down already. That'll be funny. <laughs> wow. Wow, day one. First thing I ever did, almost burned down my house. All right, so our first task as a politician is to 
click on your sim, choose political career, then pick cause to choose, a cause to support. So right now there's gonna be a lot of different causes we can pick from. I'm gonna pick one and then hopefully it'll be something good for him. Political, so you can't protest a cause, so we pick a cause. So we got five causes we can pick from. Uh, foundation for less mischief, no sims, no sim left behind. Simlins for everyone, speak for the trees, world united. So I don't really remember what traits I gave him. All right, so goofball, creative, outgoing. What do I think that would go with? Okay, so I don't think we're going to do the Simlins one. He's not like materialistic or anything, so I don't think we're going to do Simlins one. I think because he's kind of outgoing, kind of a goofball, I think he'd want to end mischief. That's that's just how I feel. That's that's how I'm feeling it. So I think we're going to choose Foundation for Less Mischief. I think that'll just be David's thing. Trying to make the world great again. Kappa. Let's throw that in there. Clean that all up. Awesome. David has chosen a support. Woo! And I haven't actually looked at this yet. So let's look at what the city native is. I haven't really got to check it out. It's the newest expansion with the new expansion, they added this specifically for it. Let's check out what it is. Taurus, introduce yourself to someone new in three different city neighborhoods, given an apartment key to a friend, order three times from a food stall. That's kind of interesting. Achieve level three in singing, so we're gonna have to do some singing. Light fireworks at the Humor and Hijinks Festival, use a bubble blower. Donate to a protester, kiss someone at a romance festival, complete a more, uh, at the art center. I can't pronounce that word. Uh, master the singing skill, win a contest at GeekCon, live in an apartment worth um, 100,000 Simlins. That's interesting. I think it'll really work well with him. Uh, I have to interact a lot for the career, so I think that'll be perfect for David. Like that is, screams David to me. All right, man. Let's, uh, let's actually have him sleep for a few hours. Sadly, it's almost daytime. I didn't really get to sleep much, but we're gonna try and do some of this right now. We're gonna go out and go start talking to people, probably make some friends. All we had to do was choose a cause. It doesn't look like we need anything else right now, but I know just from playing it that we have to get our charisma skill up and make friends. So I think that will be our first task. Let's start exploring the city, make some friends, introduce ourselves to some people outside and see what's up with the city. I haven't really got to look at the fashion district much yet. I think that's the one we're at. I believe that's the one we're at. I hope I said that right. I really got to look around much though. So I'm really interested in seeing like how people work and how everything looks. See, there's the crazy sweaters. That's what I'm saying. Uh, GeekCon is in town today. Is it Tuesday? I say, I say we go, like why not? We can go meet some people. Friendly introduction, let's go. Oh, she's gorgeous. Wait a second, I like her. You know what, stop. Let's go introduce ourselves to her. Greet new na- Are we neighbors with her? Oh, maybe, maybe it won't be that bad throwing parties a lot. She's young adult, she's very pretty. I love the pink hair, very right? edgy. Screams, screams me. Let's, let's talk to her, let's thank her. Discuss like neighborhood changes and uh, promote our cause because you know we got to promote our cause. Talk about mines. Mines. Yo, she. What the heck was that? Why did that just go up? Oh, she's so pretty. Is she really one of our neighbors? Loves of cosplay? Yes, please. This is. This is interesting. Joke about rocket ship woohoo. Oh, yes. Listen to the passion, remarks about the cause, and is feeling inspired to take action. Congrats on successfully promoting the cause. That's that's our boy David. Already talking to the ladies. I think he will be a really good politician. Tell a funny story. Uh, do an impression. I think this is going to be a good relationship here. I didn't even catch her name. Miko. That's a fun name, Miko. I like it. I like it. 
And here is GeekCon. So this is a convention that is going on right now. It's totally geeky and fun, which makes me like it more. So these are like video game systems over here. We have a nice sofa. Oh my God. Play with me, go. Yo, we can go play video games with there. That's fun. That's like, that's a dream date, you know? That's my dream date. I hope I get to play video games with a lady in the future. She, he's dressed up as a cosplay character? Yes. Oh my god, this is so cool. I'm like, this is what I think is like so interesting is how lively they make this, the city, right? City feel. There's all these people, everyone's like doing their own thing. I always had issues with the lack of people in games, you know? Uh, restaurants never had many people, it was like six people. I just didn't feel like anyone was really doing anything. Stuff like that really frustrated me. And I felt like every time I went to clubs, it was the same six or seven people. And like here, I feel like there's a crap ton of people. I feel like there's a lot of people, everyone seems to be having fun doing their own things. We have people trying food carts, cosplayers, she's dressed up as freaking Princess Leia. Like, it just seems so lively and fun. It's, uh, is that a street performer? Sorry, I'm like, I'm geeking out right now. It's so awesome. I just feel like they've added a lot to it, and that makes me really excited. Oh wait, are we supposed to be at my house? Invite her in. Let's let's head back to my house, I guess. Oh nope, she's here. She's here. Never mind. Can we help build a rocket ship? I've never built a rocket ship, but I'm down to try and help. Is this really what they do at like geeky conventions? They sit around and just build a rocket ship, like, whatever. I said we take pictures with some cosplayers. Like, I feel like we haven't started until we take some, selfie, some selfies with cosplayers, you know? We came all the way here. We have to have some fun about it and take some pictures with cosplayers. Did... They must have, like, uh... EA must have gotten the rights to like Star Wars, which is pretty cool. Well, I think EA owns Star Wars, right? So that doesn't surprise me. They made Battlefront, so... Wait, will you actually not let me get a picture with you? Let's talk to Han Solo. Can I have a selfie with you, Han Solo? Oh, a Twelik! Hi, Twelik! I think it's time for me to go. Thanks for hosting. Oh, it was such a pleasure. Being an eye to taking picture. Wow, that's kind of rude. Yo, you dressed up. Why would I be allowed to take a picture? All right, let's head back home, I guess. Let's head back to our house and use the bath. Oh, she's still at our house. We still have our friend. She's playing our video games. Aw, that's cute. Let's go leave a nice note and let's go eat snacks. So my strategy to always making Sims so much easier to live with is making group meals. It's such an easy way to not waste time. Hackathon got 41. The immersive, oh, we can actually win a computer if we do it. Ooh. Is she actually one of our neighbors though? I wonder which neighbor she is. I wonder if she's actually like living next door or not. I'm kind of sad we haven't really got to mess around with the career yet, but that's okay. Hopefully we'll get to mess around with it soon. But it looks like we definitely have a friend, which is good. Maybe we can rush a relationship with her early on in the series. You know? I really like her. I feel like they look so cute together. What do you guys think? Do you guys like Miko or no? You guys about it or not about it? 
Hopefully people do move in next door. If not, I'll have to move a family in. Because I'm not going to have like a... Give apartment key! Your boy's going to give out the apartment key. Oh, she's going to come over all the time. Can we promote the cause again? Alright, so we just completed one of our three goals. We'll have to travel over to the other cities um, when we start having to talk to more people and move on in the political career and make more friends, you know? So right now we only have promoted cause, ask about day. I wonder what her interests are. Know what I want to know? I want to know what she... Does for work. This is always intriguing to me. What discuss work? Hopefully, she tells me what she does for work. You know. Can we? Uh, I got an idea. I have an idea. I got an idea. No, not photo of. I meant wit. Okay. This is. I don't, I don't know if this is creepy or not. I feel like it's a little creepy. But you know, whatever. Let's let's take some photos. Yeah, photo of her. She looks so cute. Look at her. Check her out. I want a photo with you, but you know, of you is okay. That's a little weird. A little weird. Take photo with. Thank God. Okay, that'll be a little bit better. Aww, look at how cute they are. Let's do it. This is gonna hang up on one of our walls. It's our first friend. We'll make a wall of friends. Let's do another one. Black and white. So majestic, so artsy. We are in the art district, so it only screams that we need to make sure it looks as archy as pop, archy, as artsy as possible, you know? Thanks, girl. Let's hang this up right next to our bed. Awesome, let's get that on our bed. And one of on our bed, ooh, next to our bed. Um, where should we put it? Can we put it in like a picture frame or no? I, I wish we could like make a collage or something. Maybe you can, maybe I just don't know it. Oh, look at how nice the picture came out. Awesome, all right. Well, now that's the end of the night, let's, uh, let's go use the shower. Let's go take a shower and get ready for the rest of the day. We'll have to mess around more with the Geek Con when I have more time, you know? I don't really know, I didn't really know what I was doing there. So hopefully we can do more stuff when I have more time. With the Geek Con and stuff. Oh, I should have bought this snow globe. Each convention has like special items. Uh, every convention that's unique to the convention. So I should have bought a snow globe or the, I think they have apparel too. So I should have bought like a geek con shirt or something to like save, use later on, you know, look awesome with. All right, let's head off to bed. It's time for them sleep a deuce. Hopefully they don't rage tonight. Oh, look at all these happy things. Let's read them. A decorated good environment, uh, deep conversation, uh, Home sweet home, pretty tasty, and uh, making a new friend. That's very nice. I hope they don't rage tonight. I'm worried because they are lively neighbors, or it's a lively uh, apartment. So if they rage, we might have an issue, you know? Wait, why don't you s sleep through the night, dude? You can practice singing, that's kind of cool. No, wait, what were the other options? Read guidebook about fashion district. Ooh, sounds kind of interesting. Uh, did you know that? Oh, it's the TV. Can you turn that off? Uh, did you know the fashion district is home to the world's famous Torrendi Tower? Take a gander and marvel at the decadence of the most expensive penthouse in. Oh, really? Yeah, look at how nice this city looks. It just looks so beautiful. So how it works with the city specifically is I believe each one of these is like an apartment building. One, wait, one. This is a building, this is a building, that's a building. And like you can live in those, I think is how it works. 
she keeps waking us up. Maybe we should ask her to leave. I say we ask her to leave. Not not in a rude way, but like, yo, uh, you should probably get going. Yeah, you should probably leave. I can't sleep. You're keeping me up. I have work in the morning. Uh, you should probably leave. It's like, why is she sleeping in my bed? I didn't ask her to move in. Can you... What? What is going on? That's my bed. I need to sleep in it. Oh my god, she wasn't wearing pants. Thank you. I should really get... Go Thank you. She came out with no pants. Like, I'm all down not to sleep with pants in my own home, but she took off her pants in my home. I don't, I don't know, man. I feel like she's making this relationship move a little too fast. <laughs> Work for David starts in about one hour. What would you like to do? So this is a new option with the uh, uh, careers and um, and what, are, what am I saying? This is a new option in the careers and city living. So you can now go to work, work at home, or call out of work, okay? We're gonna go to work for the first day but I think I'm gonna have to wrap it up here. I feel like I accomplished nothing today. We ended up going to the Geek Squad, which was kind of cool. Geek Con Squad. Uh, Geek Con, which was kind of cool. And we also got to meet a good friend, you know? Potential friend, future neighbor, I hope. Um, we're starting to build up relationships, which will definitely help us in the future. In the next episode, what I want to accomplish is probably do a day and uh, two days of work. Um, Hopefully get a promotion. We'll have to check that out and try and raise our charisma. That's going to be very important throughout this career. I want to thank everyone for watching. If you haven't already done it, please look below and hit that subscribe button. Below is also a link to my Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitch if you'd like to. If you did enjoy yourself, feel free to check out other playthroughs. And I hope you guys keep watching all the future episodes. Thank you again for spending the day with me. I'll talk to you all soon. Everyone enjoy the rest of the night and get some sleep. Good night, everyone. Bye from me and David.